my daughter Haley's car was broke into again last night, or they tried. They did it once before, and they she had stuff on her seat, and they took her iPad and her phone and her uh, radar detector. Those people actually got caught, and she got her stuff back, thank goodness. But they did it again. And any policeman or anybody will tell you you want to keep people away from your house, you have to have lights. They're not going to go to a house that isn't lit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show her how to do it. Hopefully she won't. I'll do it when I get back. But this is something my daughter Haley or any person could do. So what you have to do is you'll have to come to your panel. Here's a wire that I haven't attached yet. And what you do is you would run the wire into the panel. You'll attach it because she uses Romex there too with a Romex clamp. And you would tie it into a breaker. Then you would take and run the wire up like I did here at the Cape Project. Nice and tight up against the ceiling. I ran it off my runners. And then I took it upstairs. Beautiful day in West Palma. Sunny! Haven't done stuff today. I've been working on all kinds of things to get prepared for drywall, insulation, stuff like that. Oh, I'm putting the rubber seam, the rubber stuff, and the radon in. A lot of stuff today I've been planning. So anyway, Haley, this is my wire that comes up out of the basement. And I'll run it into a box. And I'll put a switch in it. At your house, we would run it over, put a switch on the wall. So all surface mounted. Then we're going to come up. Mine's temporary. We'll drill a hole through your brick and in your garage. Then outside, the critical path is a good light. This is one that was existing. Love this light. It, at night, it's got a photo cell, so at night it comes on automatically. Just a real dim light. But if I walk around that far corner of the house, this light comes on. So it's really a good light. That is the critical path right there is the light fixture that you use. I'd also recommend putting in an LED or one of those kind of lights that will last longer. Regular light bulbs that I have here that I buy four for $1.79, I'll bet you I've gone through 20 light bulbs um, at least. So get a good light bulb. When I get home, I'll put it in. If you and Ross want to do it yourself, all we got to do is FaceTime, and you could do this yourself. Anybody can do this. You would pull the breaker out so you don't have to necessarily worry about power. If you're afraid, don't do it. Anyway, that's it, Haley. Love you. Tell Georgia and Ross I said hey. Talk to you soon. Bye.